has quite a long history now of working and supporting um, young carers and the services that support them. It's, a, it's an area that's very important to us. I think we feel that young carers are very easily hidden. Um, they can look and appear to many to be very ordinary young people, very ordinary children. Um, and people are unaware of perhaps what goes on at home, what pressures they're under. So I think we feel that it's very important that we champion them and that we raise the profile and support the range of work that goes on across Wales because there are services um, and they do a good job in identifying and supporting and integrating young carers into their local community as well as giving them opportunities to be children and young people for short spells of time and away from their caring role. Children in Wales has quite a long history now of working and supporting um, young carers and the services that support them. It's, a, it's an area that's very important to us. I think we feel that young carers are very easily hidden. Um, they can look and appear to many to be very ordinary young people, very ordinary children. Um, and people are unaware of perhaps what goes on at home, what pressures they're under. So I think we feel that it's very important that we champion them and that we raise the profile and support the range of work that goes on across Wales because there are services um, and they do a good job in identifying and supporting and integrating young carers into their local community as well as giving them opportunities to be children and young people for short spells of time and away from their caring role. Children in Wales facilitates a network of young carers workers. That brings the workers together three, four times a year to look at sharing practice, sharing ideas, learning from each other, um, combining resources on occasions to do joint pieces of work um, and I suppose then I have the opportunity to help them think and understand more about the wide context, the, the, the Welsh Government context, the sort of what's happening in Wales on a policy level and how we can between us look at the best support for young carers both practically which is their area and also linking into policy developments or driving where we can the change for young carers through a combined resource of me being able to understand the policy and also to be able to say and I know from young carers and those who support them that this is the major issue. Currently I think this is a really really positive time for young carers. There's an awful lot of work that is coming together really and I think sometimes we've I think it's very easy to feel that what you do doesn't bring anything together and actually there's a number of things that are happening at the moment that are going to make a big difference for young carers and going to help those who work with them. There's obviously we've had the carers measure and so young carers are very much identified and health boards now are looking to engage and that must be a big challenge for them and certainly at Children in Wales we're happy to work with health boards and offer them support as indeed the other partners around the table and I know members of the network are actively engaged with their local health boards so that's really positive. We have the toolkit which I know we have waited a long time for this toolkit. It's really important that it's out there for professionals because I know I get questions and requests for some support which is fantastic but if there is a tool kit that people can look at they can think about they can pick up resources they can find the links that has to be great because I think we do all look as, as a first look at what's on Google what will that tell us so that is going to be really really useful and people will come across that who are perhaps thinking about what's a young carer do I know any young carers and hopefully the toolkit will help them think about the people that they know and what may be going on for them so that's really great. We have the carers measure being refreshed and relaunched young carers are, and young adult carers are an integral part of that they have an identified chapter 
so that their particular issues as children and young people are identified, explored uh, and there are actions to be followed up, which we will be actually supporting Welsh Government to do, but also being able to challenge them uh, to take things further as, as we feel they should. But I think what we are very, also very keen to say is care, young carers are carers and actually all the areas of the carer strategy relate to them and are important to them. If we look at young adult carers, work and employment and support from employers is vital. So there's a really interesting and, and a good mix of people now in the carers field supporting and acknowledging where young carers have particular needs but actually looking at how carers can be supported across the way. And finally we have the Social Services and Wellbeing Bill that's now being discussed and, and again carers and young carers are very clearly recognised in that bill and again that has to be a positive so the toolkit comes at a really exciting time when there are things going on people who are not fully aware of young carers will need to be thinking about young carers, young adult carers and their transition through into adulthood and so the toolkit is just there waiting to support them as indeed are we at Children in Wales. I'm more than happy people can contact me get my number off the, or my email off the website, that's fantastic. I look forward to hearing from you.